everyone. Thanks for tuning in today. This is Grant Gordy on the steel string acoustic guitar. And this is Ross Martin on the steel string acoustic guitar. And uh, our program today is called Bye Bye Blues. Bye Bye Blues is an old favorite from the Great American Songbook that we'll be playing in our show here. And this is also, uh, we're presenting this as a big thank you to all the medical and non-medical workers who have done so much to help us all out during this time of the pandemic. That's right, and we're sponsored by Chamber Music America's Presenters Consortium for Jazz, supported by the Doris Duke Charitable Foundation. So big thanks to everyone. And uh, like Grant mentioned, we're going to be playing um, some tunes from several different eras of jazz and uh, just some of our favorite standards and a few originals. So we're going to start out with um, a tune from the bebop era by the great pianist Bud Powell. This is called Celia. Thank you. 
Celia by the great Bud Powell. Well, the next tune we're doing um, is uh, by another great jazz instrumentalist, Julian Cannonball Adderley. And um, this tune uh, kind of fits the, the hopeful theme of, of uh, the, the set, I think. And, um, you know, just uh, it's been a, a long few years. And this tune uh, I've always loved. It's called Things Are Getting Better. So um, let's give this one a shot. One, two, one, two, three.
Things are getting better. Right, Ross? That's right. <laughs> um, we're going to do a tune of Grant, so we're throwing some uh, original tunes in here. And um, uh, this is a beautiful tune. I've always found this uh, really haunting and nice melody. Uh, this is, uh, yeah, why don't you tell us about it? It's a real haunting and nice <laughs> <laughs> It's a tune of mine that I wrote. It's, um, it's kind of wrote specifically with Ross in mind. And it's, it's, a, it's entitled As the Crow Flies. So think of it as being haunted by a pleasant crow. <laughs>
As the Crow Flies by Grant Gordy. Um, we're going to continue with the original tune uh, idea here and uh, do a tune of mine called The Stumbling Bro. And this, uh, this came about, a friend of mine had written a tune called The Stumbling Crow, and um, I started coming up with this melody, and I was thinking about his tune, and um, it, uh, it seemed to uh, be, uh, it never quite settled in, so uh, Stumbling Bro seemed uh, to be an appropriate title, so I'll give this a try. I've got a twofer here of original tunes, so um, the last tune was Stumbling Bro, and um, we're going to do another tune of mine called Sweep.
So that's Sweep. Um, you probably noticed that some of the tunes, you know, we're doing, uh, some of them are inspired by certain eras of jazz. Some of them, like uh, like modern jazz, are inspired by other types of music, kind of mixed with jazz. And so I think Grant and I both love a lot of different kinds of music. And when we write tunes, uh, it's it's kind of coming from that angle of, you know, this style and that style and kind of mixing things up. So Yeah. And speaking of which, uh, this is a tune from from a uh, more modern era of jazz uh, by the great Pat Metheny, and uh, it's a tune we love to play called "Bright Size Life." And I think we're gonna improvise a little bit beforehand and um, and kind of get into that. But uh, this is "Bright Size Life" by Pat Metheny. So. <laughs>
Well, we're going to continue with uh, a, a very, very standard of standards, old standard from the, uh, <laughs> from I think it's one of the, the most well-known tunes from the Great American Songbook. Um, it's called On the Sunny Side of the Street. Thank you. 
sunny side of the street. Well, we'll continue now with uh, another a brand new composition by our lead guitarist, <laughs> Ross Martin, on lead guitar today. And uh, it's a new tune of his. Um, you want to tell the good folks about it? Yeah, this is a tune um, I started writing, and I thought it was going to be one thing, and it kind of ended up being another. And uh, so the only uh, appropriate thing I could think of to name it was Deep Fake. So. Um, <laughs> that's what this one is and I would be remiss if I didn't introduce our lead guitarist today and that's Grant Gordy over there so <laughs> thanks for tuning in
deep fake. From the mind of Ross Martin. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we've got a couple more tunes in our program, and um, this is a... Uh, this is a tune. When, when did you first hear this tune? This is just uh, one of those tunes, you know, as, as musicians like us that play a lot of different kinds of music, we, we run into uh, many different types of repertoire. So you might catch us playing Bach on one night or, uh, you know, um, disco on another night. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, this is just it's one of those many tunes in the in the jazz canon that you, that you kind of hear about. And I actually... Um, had heard the tune but didn't really play it uh, before we prepared it for this concert. So this is a special, uh, special occasion for me to get to play this for you. Yeah. And it is, uh, it's, I believe it's a Jerry Mulligan tune, is mm -hmm. that right? Uh, great uh, saxophonist from the kind of cool, what they call the cool jazz era of the 50s and 60s, and the tune is called Line for Lions.
Lion for Lions. So I think we've covered a, a lot of eras of jazz today. Yeah, we sure have. Yeah. And guitar jazz, <laughs> the guitar era. <laughs> the steel string guitar <laughs> music. Um, and we've got one more tune, so thanks so much for, for tuning in. And uh, we've come to the title song of our show. This is uh, Bye Bye Blues. And um, we'll play this and, uh, and say goodbye to everybody. So thanks again for watching.
bye everybody bye bye thanks so much um and before we go we have a few people to thank uh that this would not have been possible without and um they're the presenters that worked with uh, Chamber Music of America Jazz. And uh, one is Am Amherst Glebe Arts Response in Amherst, Virginia. So big thanks to them. Um, Virginia Commonwealth University um, Health and Healthcare Program. Um, so we're very grateful to them. And finally, University of Michigan, Michigan Medi Medicine's Gifts of Art Program. So thanks so much. And um, Thank you. yeah, we really appreciate it. So. Bye-bye blues, and thanks for tuning in.